and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Brom. That's right, we're going to be playing a deck that's a little off the wall here. We got a, a uh, donation to try it out though. This was a donation deck. That's the two Ds stand over here. So that means it was a user submitted deck. Um, if you want to see your deck on stream and played through uh, five games, um, in in master's rank and also made for a youtube video it's just a ten dollar donation you can find the donation link in the video description and you can either just put the deck code that you want me to play like we have here or if you would like me to build a deck just tell me what you'd like me to build all right but yeah this deck uh you know we're pairing ionia and freljord together and we have a brahm deck which i haven't played brahm in a while because brahm is probably the weakest champion out of all of the champions but we're gonna try to you know take heart and um you know make braum good here really what braum's doing is it's slowing the game down helping us get to the late game and then we're going to be relying on lee sin in the late game with all of these spells that we have to uh, dragon's rage our opponent to death that's kind of what, what we got going on here Looks pretty interesting. I really do like Starlet's here, and I like a lot of these cards. So let's uh, give it a try. We're going to be heading on over here. We're going to be changing our pet to Gloomtooth. Need to do that. Let's go with the Freljord board. Oh, no, Freljord board. There we go. Card back. We'll have Ionia. All right, so yeah, let's play some Lee Brom. This will be a fun one. Play five games over in ranked. See how we do. And let's get started. So we're playing against the standalone deck. I'm going to mulligan the take heart. I kind of like this start. I'm going to mulligan the take heart because they don't really do very much. Like, if they're doing damage, they're usually killing our things. Ooh, and we get Omen Hawk. This is a nice curve. Attack. I get that one point of damage in, bird. Thank you. I definitely like the Concussive Palm. Gets a standalone deck. This card's real good. I'm stopping them for that turn. And I think I'm playing another Starlet Seer instead of Shadow Assassin. That's kind of weird. They passed back to me and then played that after passing. I don't know if they accidentally clicked pass one too many times or what exactly happened there. That was odd. Decent. I thought about playing Deep Meditation for like the double Starlet Seer triggers instead. I think I want to use the Concussive Palm defensively, not aggressively. Lisa's always bragging over there. Only I can. Uh, no, not Will of Ionia. Uh, I guess you can't. 
endure the Dragon's Fury anymore. Beeson. Hmm. More Leeson. Still not doing too bad. I will play my part. I think the biggest way we lose this is if they have uh, if they have relentless pursuit right now, like this turn. And so that's why I want to go with the con concussive palm this turn. Normally we could just kind of like take the seven, but I don't want to like take seven and then they relentless pursuit. Then I have to concussive palm, and I just took like that extra damage when I didn't need to, kind of thing. We're gonna let that happen. Our strength is yours. Let's play this hearth garden. It's our second straight Ionia Demacia opponent that's had all three single combats. Yeah, I suppose I could just open attack and didn't have to challenge. So they did have their relentless pursuit, it looks like.
All right, gonna try gaining the seven life. If they have another, if they have their third Will of Ionia and bounce the lease in, I'm in trouble. Or if they have that. Finally, we draw another unit. <laughs> we had some Starlet Seer triggers that we were waiting on. Conflict is all in the mind. Ah, an auspicious season. Should just draw. Should just done the draw two at the beginning of the turn. Just done the draw two. I would have drawn the Shadow Assassin. Played that. This has been a frustrating last 11 games. Frustrating last 11 games. Three single combats and two Will of Ionias from them. Yep. Y'all have those days where work's just pretty frustrating. Nothing goes right. Decisions you make just end up being wrong. Like, look, I guess I, you know, should have just drawn two to start with. I suppose. I don't know if that would have really made a difference. They would have, you know, probably bounced my shadow assassin. And who knows? This is kind of crazy. You know, literally have not played against Shadow Shadow Isles Demacia for weeks. This is our third Shadow Isles Demacia in the last six games. Push back the darkness. I'm playing Starlet Seer over Braum because I want this in play for me to start playing all of these cheap spells. Well, this turn I'm playing this one. This would be a good winter. I will play my part. Cool. I like 1 6 Braum. I wouldn't mind playing a 1 6 Braum before combat. Other option here was just to take all 12 and take heart the Braum to be able to kill Lucian easier. 
Or of course, you know, we could have blocked all three spiders. Oh man, really? Really? It is easy, see? Man, nothing goes right. Okay, let's see. Man. turn very quickly. Three for Lucian. That was the thing. I didn't want to... I didn't want to block all three spiders and make it three out of four for Lucian because I didn't want to make it easy for them to uh, do a sacrifice and, and level up Lucian. Realize that I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I wish I wish I didn't use the elixir of iron on the hearth guard. Obviously now, but too late. Yeah, besides burn, what's a decent ladder deck that is cheap? Um, I'd recommend championless elusives. Check out this video from just a couple days ago. Two days ago. Ten damage to that problem. I know what lurks in the shadows. Be strong. These are dark times. <laughs> That's an omen hawk right there. If I've ever seen one. Things they need to play a um, there we go. Let's say they need to play an enemy with seven or less, or with three or less health for me to play this brittle steel. I've not had anything die this turn. The enemy quivers with fear.
Okay, you want you want like a jinx emote? I should just get that. I should just get like these as the emotes, like for for y'all in chat, shouldn't I? And you know, like the other new ones and everything like that too. So do I Dragon's Rage the Radiant Guardian and just put it back in their hand and nothing else so they don't get to get this or no or the line I'm going to take which is do this kill that thing. And of course have them have them like gain the seven life right now first, right? Because they can only go to twenty. So they'll they're at twenty, they'll gain seven and stay at twenty. And then we'll kill the Dawn Speakers. And then attack with other stuff. That does that does that before the damage, right? Because that's an ability. Well. Oh well. They're at 19 instead of 14. It's probably not that big a deal. I think I could use the the most right now is a card draw spell. There's a chill in the air. Like deep meditation would be really nice. Those are some vile maws. What's the plan? We shoot them. Our strength is yours. Banish the unworthy. You will be scoured from this land! Go ahead, scare me. No room for doubt. They're attacking with Lucian? Really? Attack with Lucian. Stand and 
defend. Stand behind Brawl. I will not hold back. It's too late for you. So this isn't a great comp, you know, like this is going to be a little rough. Oh man, Grizzled Ranger? I, mean, I think we're fine, but you know, wow. I think we still win this, but who knows? All right, you go in there. You go over here. You go over here. You go over here. All right, take five. Brom, can you can you take care of these three, Brom? Hope so. Start by taking care of that. Brom, he's saying hello. Not goodbye. Hello. If Brom actually does like cool things, you gotta use the Brom emote, right? I feel like that's probably part of the rules. Part of the rule somewhere. So they have zero mana, five five fearsome. I get one mana, five five. Um, also pump two cards on, on your deck. We stun in? Nah. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna have a plus three, plus three Brahms. I already have other Brahms. That was good. That was really good. Cause you know, now if they can go wide, if they can play like, you know, like four more things and just go wide. Come closer. I don't. That was good. Yeah, that was that was pretty perfect. I thought I had this until that glimpse beyond. No, just attack with the scouts. 
Uh, it's definitely helping they just attack with the scouts. Because it doesn't make sense to Concussive Palm on their turn, because yes, I'd have a blocker, but that blocker would is the same as like the Concussive Palm right now. So close. So close. What's up, everybody from Saucy Mailman's stream? What's up, everybody? We are playing some Leeson Braum. And just lost the game that uh, I thought we were going to win. We were both... Uh, we... Our opponent had a crazy turn with a couple attacks with a leveled up Lucian. They got back from a Rekindler and then like multiple Scuttle Guys um, and just, just this crazy attack turn and we survived it and we ended up with like Braum against just like no cards in hand and they had like no cards in hand against just some of their stuff and we were both top decking. But they top decked a... A glimpse beyond that kept my Braum from killing something and kept kept me from getting another 3-3. Three, three. And that glimpse beyond just drew him a whole bunch more units to play. Big things, you know, like more scuttle guys and grizzled rangers. And unfortunately I drew another Braum, which, you know, obviously doesn't really do much when you already have a Braum in play. And they they pulled it out, but I really thought we were gonna be winning that one. It's been kind of a frustrating day. Um, oh, Live Devil. Oh, yeah, I just played against you, Live Devil. GG's. GG's. It's been kind of a frustrating day, as you can tell with like with our records for the last three decks. I was just I was just playing a Demacia Shadow Isles deck, and I haven't played against Demacia Shadow Isles, you know, in weeks, and now it's been. Uh, three of our last six games before this were Demacia Shadow Isles decks. Is it the boosters? Who knows? This is fun, yes? It's probably not worth it. I get two damage in and one damage on Braum. So I pass turn instead of doing that so that um, so they just wasted that mana because I'm sure that they were wanting to play something post-combat and I didn't let them. going to be trying to play Radiant Guardian. I guess that answer is nope. Unfortunately, this is Brahm's worst region to play against. You know, Will of Ionia region. Not great for Brom. But if they don't have Will, Will of Ionia, this Brom's going to be great.
Zero percent chance to win that game. We have no removal. We can't beat a Karma and a Lux in play. <laughs> it's over. done. That's why we don't really play very much Braum. I thought I thought we were going to win that second game. thought we were maybe going to be able to pull out a win. Let's try to get one here. Sejuani Misfortune. No, keep the Shadow Assassins. All right, mister. Take care. Yeah, that, that's definitely the case. Yeah, buffing, buffing Braum just adds value to Will of Ionia. It's... It's kind of the card that makes Will... Or the card that makes Braum not playable. Will of Ionia. Man, yeah, my opponent's just making me super jealous. That's that's exactly what I love doing. Omen Hawk, Black Market Merchant. I'm just so jealous right now. The order rewards its faithful. Success gets you noticed around here. I will play my part. Those are my kind of cards. Keeping the Starlet Seer alive means that then we can start take hearting the Starlet Seer. We also have the Shadow Assassin that we can take heart as well. Ooh, they missed. It is a fair point that my Starlet Seers are going to be worse against them stealing my cards. But getting all three Shadow Assassins, this is a real clock. Now for our, our elusive units. Go down to five. We're not Riptide Rex level yet. Really be going down to four. Yeah, yeah, Braum turns into an elusive deck now. Oh, my camera's way off. Okay, there we go. Fury of the North. Pretty scary. Pretty scary.
didn't have one more mana to take heart again. If they would have just put both of those Furia of the Norse on the first thing before, I would have died. Right? No, I wouldn't have because they would have needed that damage in there also. It doesn't matter. I think I'll just save this two mana for more spells. I don't need to play either of those things. So that's nine, so they have to act. And then I just have all this mana for protection. AKA Take Heart Elusives. There we go, gotta win. GG's. Okay, Karma Ez. Could do okay against Karma Ez, probably. Braum is on the job. I would have mulligan Braum if we had it in the opening hand. Obviously, we drew the Braum afterwards. This is not, you know, again, again against Will of Ionia, I don't want Braum at all. I just want, like, threats and protection spells. Which, so, like, maybe I should have kept the Spirit's Refuge, but it just costs four mana for a protection spell. And we have, like, Elixir of Irons and, you know, Twin Disciplines and that kind of stuff. That is true, Valerian Blade. The plunder makes champion centric deck champion centric decks better because it pulls the champions to the top. That's good. That is true. Hmm. The problem with playing that is now I'm not protecting my Starlet Seer, and I feel bad about that. I think it would be pretty cool to have How can to have those plunder cards just draw random cards from the deck, not uh, not the top card, because yeah, that does really hurt your Omen Hawk and those kind of cards. So it's either play that and then my opponent knows, okay, now I can play Karma, like I can safely pick, play Karma, or I just don't play that and I go to attacks and then my opponent knows they can play, safely play Karma. Basically, they get to safely play Karma and I can't do much about that. Listen. Blessed by 
Well, good thing against the control deck we drew three health potions. A better deck's probably pretty good against burn. We have a lot of defensive things against burn and if we're playing three health potions. So like, you know, like playing this deck in lower ranks, probably really good. Probably. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Don't blink, or you miss me. Starts here, you're cool. Will of Ionia makes me sad. Will of Ionia makes me sad. Well, they have seven cards in hand and I have seven cards in hand. That's not bad. Ooh, they discarded a Karma's Insight of Ages? Really? Really? And a Deny. Eh, all of our stuff's burst. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Cause they knew they know that's a new Lisa and they know about the other Lisa in my hands. It's possible they're looking for another Will of Ionia. It's definitely possible. And all we have are Lee Sins and Brahms. Can Lee Sin Brahm be Karma Ezreal? Was good health pot value. Hey, Mamba Man. Compassion, not anger, drives us to Look how we have grown. Level up, bro. Peace to 
Lyonia, whatever the cost. Boo. Wait, how'd they just get an Ezreal trigger? From a deny? Where did that Ezreal trigger come from? weird at least the animation showed up is the animation just showing up randomly I feel like it is their karmas. They don't have any more karmas left in their deck because they discarded, with a rummage, they discarded a karma. And now we, we've killed two karmas. So that's all of them. And if they attack with their 2-1 Dragaling to gain life, I block with Braum and I get a Mighty Poro. Take heart. We got that's another Brahms take heart. This one is smaller though. Blessed by snow and stars. My lands need me. Enter your spirit. Mm. Who who would want to grab? Trump. Womp. Hmm. Yeah. Let's grab Trump. Try to do who you want to grab and then try to say like Ghostbusters, like Chump Wumpsters. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't work. Chump Wumpsters. Stop. Oh, they're still dead though, right? Wait, no. Wait, how are they? Oh, I have to. That's a, this has to be leveled up. All right, well, we'll level up. Let's go with Elixir of Iron over here. Sometimes I see heart just needs warm spot. I'll see this through. The dragon spirit awakens. Patience is underrated. Oh, now it doesn't help. Oh, because it's too late. Ugh. Have to level before combat. Well, y'all can tell I don't play too much Lee Sin, so learn that learn that lesson the hard way. We'll remember that for next time. time for a true of skill. I just killed one of those. Alright, gotta level before combat. Can you look of? Okay. Side of the dragon's all about breathing in and breathing out. Malevolence. 
Sweet. Home. Ionia endures. Lebron. All right, Lebron still dunking on over, <laughs> dunking on our opponent. <laughs> uh, even though we can't play basketball these days, but Lebron still dunking. All right, yeah, got two wins there back to back. Definitely feel better. Those, those are two good games uh, for sure to end the league. Um, but yeah, our deck felt our, our deck felt just fine. You know, like we do have some weaknesses. Obviously, if you're trying to pump up Braum and they will have Ionia of it, that's a weakness for sure. They they only had our last opponent only had the one will of Ionia. This deck didn't feel too bad. It feels like this is probably really, really strong against uh, against Burn. Honestly, like we got three health potions in here. We got really good blockers, including Braum is a, a great blocker against like Crimson Disciple or against Legion Grenadier. Like if, you know, you just make it so they can't kill their Legion Grenadier because you just block it with an O5. And then, you know, you have the Spirits Refuges in there also. I feel like this deck's probably pretty good against Burn. So if you're you know, a little lower on the, um, on the, uh, ranking scale and you're playing against tons and tons of burn maybe maybe give this a try i could i could see this being good and you got the other one mana tricks brittle steel elixir of iron which are good in that kind of matchup but yeah this deck felt this deck felt pretty good it's it's obviously not perfect it has its weaknesses but like you know we went two and three and one of those three losses i definitely thought that we were going to win and we were in a top deck battle where both players were out of cards but we had a much better battlefield position because we had Braum against a couple of creatures and a leveled up Braum that was going to be making mighty poros and killing stuff so we were a much better battlefield position but we ended up losing uh the top deck war um so like you know that just happens but um but yeah so that, there we go so very respectable here for lee Braum. it's hard to find Braum decks that, that win games and this one was respectable and i like it all right, but that's it here for Lee Brom. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you try this deck out yourself, if you, maybe if you try this against Burn, let me know how it goes. Like we didn't actually get to play against Burn, but let me know what you think of this deck against Burn. All right, thanks again for watching some Lee Brom, and I'll see you for the next video.